Good morning. This is Dr. Zain Agha from zwinner.com. Today I'm going to show you the best way of trading with the Bollinger Band and it will make you loads of money. You have to wait for the signal as and when you get the signal there is no way that you will lose unless you make some silly mistakes. So I'm going to show you how and what to trade. This is a Euro USD daily chart. So you get the best results when you're trading on the daily charts. So uh, these are the candles, the blue candles are going up and the red candles are going down. So first we are going to plot the uh, Bollinger Bands. Okay, here it is. This is the 20 period moving average. This is the two standard deviation. You got, put the color yellow and click. Okay, there you are. So this one is the 20 days moving average, 20 period moving average. And these are the upper band and the lower band. Now, I have developed one custom indicator, which is a very, very good indicator. You can use it in all systems that you like. And I will bring it here. And it is called the Z winner RSI Stochastics. Now, this indicator is a combination of RSI uh, relative strength index and the stochastics so don't change anything here and don't do anything just put the uh, you'll have to change the level I will come to it later okay there it is okay now by default we have the uh, 80 and 20 so this is 80 and 20 this is for the uh, stochastic levels now we are going to for this purpose we are going to change it to 30 and 70 we're going to change this to 70 and this one to 30 and click OK OK so you going there you are you are 70 level and 30 level right now what you have to do you have to wait for the candle uh, to break the lower band to buy and to break the upper band to sell okay so what we do we wait and we see we see this candle has broken and uh, a new candle opened and that also gone down and then a new candle opened which is a blue candle so we look for the blue candles because we are going to trade on the blue candle so we put a line a vertical line on the blue candle and look below what is our what is our Z when RSI is stochastic telling you is telling you you need to wait until the line crosses the 30 level only then you can enter long or when it crosses the 70 level only then you can enter the market short so there is no signal so we wait for the next candle and the next day you come back again here and see a new candle open and it came down and closed down here so this is still no trade we need to have a blue candle plus the line should be above the 30 level so we wait for the next day and the next day we get the blue candle and the z when rsi stochastic has crossed the 70 the cross the 30 level so we're going to buy at the open of the new candle 
which is this candle which is this one okay there it is and we're going to place a stop loss about five pips below the low of the last candle and the low was 1.08848 so it's going to be 1.0800 this is going to be a stop loss 1.080880 there it is okay so this is going to be your stop loss now there are two different ways of trading it's up to you whichever you like one is just use risk to reward ratio one to one or one to two so you are risking here you are risking about uh, 52 pips right and you get your 52 pips on this candle on this candle okay now this is one way either you take one to one or one to two 52 and 52 is uh, 104 so you get the 104 this profit on this candle okay here right now this is one way of trading the second way of your take profit is you need to let the you need to have two uh, trades you take two trades or if you take one trade uh, close the first trade at TP TP1 that's the take profit one so take profit one is at the when the market touches the uh, 20 uh, period moving average here okay you close half of your trade here and this will be giving you a profit of 60 about 62 pips yes sorry you get the 52 here and you get here no, you get here 143 pips 140 243 pips okay so this you have to decide which one you prefer so this is but whenever you take the entry you will make profit most of the time unless you make a silly mistake now you wait for the next candle to go out of the upper band it closes above the upper band and you need to wait for a red candle so the new candle opens and that also goes into above and then after that you get another candle which is a red candle it closes in the band within the Bollinger band so you bring your line here and see is this a valid entry you bring the line here look below is this a valid valid entry uh, not quite you see it hasn't crossed the 70 level so you wait and un until the next day and bring the line on the next one it has crossed the 70 level so you enter your market here uh, we bring the line here so you enter the market at the open of the next candle which is this blue candle you enter the market here and you place your stop loss up five pips above the high of this candle okay now your take profit could be uh, one to one is 62 pips so you will get the 62 pips uh, here no you don't get it here the market goes up and doesn't touch your stop loss comes back down and then you get your 62 pips here on this candle okay right and the second method you enter the market here and uh, you wait until you get the it touches the 20 moving average so you make a profit here there's a take profit one 30 pips 
So you close half of your trade and wait for the next one. This one goes to um, here is 121 pips. You get it here. Okay. So this is how you trade. Now, now you're waiting for the next trade. Now we don't take any trade because we need to wait until a candle closes below the low, lower band or closes above the upper band. So there is no signal here. So let's see where you get a signal. There it is. This closes. Uh, the blue one closes outside the but the next one is still blue not red one and this next one is red one but uh, it is it's got one of its wick up there and if you bring your line on this red candle you see there is no signal here to go short so you wait for the red candle there it is it's going below the 70 level so you can go short here at the open of this blue candle next candle and you place your stop loss above the high five pips above the high and you are getting you are risking about 94 pips something like that 94 pips and you're you're targeting 94 pips you don't get the 94 pips but if you were targeting the middle uh, 20 moving 20 day moving average that means you will get your take profit one here which is going to be 35 uh, pips and uh, but once you get your take profit, first take profit, you bring your stop loss down inside the band. So you put it here on top of that. Now what happens, it goes down, but the second one, this candle goes up and takes you out. So you lose. Uh, about 30 pips 37 pips okay and you've already made a lot of money now here you see this candle open and went above the upper band the second one is not a red one yet still going up still going up this is the red one when you see the red candle bring the line here and look below is it crossing the 70 level yes it is so you're going to enter the market at the open of this red candle okay and you place your stop loss above here five pips above the high of this now if you want to one to one ratio check how much you're risking you're risking 71 pips and you will get your 71 pips here on this candle on this red candle so you'll get your 71 pips first second the third candle here okay now if you were to take profit one and profit two so yeah, this is your entry so you get here even this one you can get it here 50 pips or if you get on this one you will get it uh, at uh, 41 pips and the second one you will get it here at this low band which is 127 pips like that so this is how you trade uh, the entry is the same but the target is depends on you which one you are happy with either take one to one risk to reward ratio or take your and 
profit one and profit two profit one when the market comes to the 20 moving average or and the profit two when it comes to the lower band if you are short or when it comes to the upper band if you're long so this is how you trade so it's a wonderful wonderful trading system and uh, you can try it do back testing on different pairs this is euro usd do it on gbp usd and all the uh, major pairs that you have australian dollar us dollar us dollar and japanese yen us dollar swiss franc and us dollar canadian dollar uh, and um, New Zealand dollar, US dollar, so and you will see there will be lots and lots of profit. Okay, now this system, if I were to sell it, I can easily sell it what for 197 pounds, but I am going to give it to you for free. Okay, but don't think because it's for free, it will not work. It will work definitely. And please do put your comments underneath. When you trade, let me know what did you trade, what pair did you trade, what date you trade, where did you enter, where did you get out, and how was your trading. And um, if you need any help, just write down in the comments box and I will try to answer your question as soon as I can. And I will help you as much as I can. Thank you, take care, and goodbye.